Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before I start, I want everyone now to close your eyes. So everyone close your eyes, please. So everyone eyes closed, okay. Now I need you to be honest. Please put your hands up if you have ever judged other people based on their appearance. Okay, keeping your hands up now and put your hands up if you have ever been judged by other people based on the way you look. Now please open your eyes and look around. It seems like the majority of us here have ever judged or been judged by other people. In today's society, a lot of people feel anxious about their appearance because of the, because the, uh, because the judgments of other people, especially teenagers. But can you imagine how many more people are actually affected by this? Under the COVID-19 pandemic, the application Zoom has turned people into online neighbors. Gradually, people have become less confident and extremely self-conscious about their appearance. I can totally understand this as I have also made excuses with my teachers last year during the online classes. I mean, we all did. Not because we didn't want to work, but because of our obsession with appearance and beauty standards. In fact, from an ancient time, people have had an ongoing interest in appearance and would actively engage in the plethora of appearance management activities. According to a report published by several British plastic surgeons, there was a 70% increase in the number of men consulting for plastic surgeries in 2020. In 2015, there was a market research conducted by the firm GFK, and there was a survey published based on the global satisfaction with appearance, which shows that the Latin Americans are the most satisfied with their appearance, whereas the Japanese are the most self-conscious with only 26% of the respondents being fairly satisfied or extremely satisfied. Korean with 34% and Hong Kong with 38% that ranked the second and third last respondents. Surprisingly, only 10% of the people in China are extremely satisfied with the, with the way they look. People from Australia, Sweden, the UK are also less confident Nearly half of the entire population felt insecure with their appearance. According to the BBC website, this survey also suggests that 34% of the British girls aged from 10 to 15 felt dissatisfied with their looks. I was one such girl. So this is me when I was 10 years old, very cute, I know. <laughs> I used to be very unsatisfied with my appearance when I was young. Growing up in China, I was told that, from, uh, that, I was told that being a good-looking person requires large eyes, a well-rounded nose, and an elegant face. I was not confident about my appearance because it didn't fit into what is called beauty at all. Being told I haven't got any of these features, I felt very insecure and self-conscious. It was a Chinese New Year, and we were all celebrating it as a family. My family was sitting at a table with some relatives, and I was sitting next to my mom, who was showing them a picture of me. Then, one of my aunties turned to me, looked at me, and said, your nose looks like a pig's. She said this to me, and the whole table just laughed along with her. For the next few years, I was afraid of taking selfies. I refused to take pictures when I hang out with my friends, or I would either cover my nose with a sticker or simply crop the photos when I publish them on social media because I was worried about people's negative comments on my appearance. Two years later, I moved to Spain. At my new school, my friends asked me why I never take selfies. I replied, pretending to be relaxed um, because my nose looks weird. They seemed to be shocked and said, why would you say that? I mean, your nose is really cute. To be honest, it is one of the rare times I have ever heard people compliment my appearance. Well, my parents have also complimented me before, but the only thing I thought was, yeah, they're my parents, <laughs> what else can they say? It is only then I realized how different cultures perceive beauty and how we're all unique. Maybe something we see as a piggy nose may be cute for others. Plus, this piggy nose is a special feature that makes me who I am. So now, I embrace it with relief and remain confident in myself. Gradually, I stop being anxious about my appearance. 
The definition of beauty is diverse. Letting confidence to bring out the good in your body, rather than letting some labels be the norm of beauty. Because everyone in this world is incomparable and unique, no matter who you are, where you come from. So, in addition, how do we solve these types of problems? The first thing I would say is to call your family and friends. Instead of worrying about whether or not someone really likes you, trying to make note of all the friends you have and the way they bless your life. I have become more confident because of the encouragement of my friends. The trick is to learn to take a compliment and believe people when they say something good about yourself, and try not to obsess over the little things you see as negative. Secondly, do not face shame people, including yourself. We all can and should learn on not judging others, by, uh, including ourselves, based on their appearance. And, and unsurprisingly, learning to focus on the good on others help you learn to be as gentle as with yourself. And remember, never, never compare yourself with others. It's just a recipe for disaster. It is when we stop obsessing about fixing every little detail we see as negative, then realize there is no uniform standard of beauty. According to research, there are more than six billion different facial appearances in this world. In this culture diverse society, we should all be more inclusive of different looks. After five years of studying in an international school and getting to know people from different countries all over the world, I realize there is no standard of beauty. As you can see, my friends and I all look different, but we have one thing in common, that is we're all beautiful. No matter if we're from Britain, from Russia, from Sweden, from Austria, or from Spain, or from China, like me, who has a piggy nose, everyone and anyone is beautiful. It is hard, and it takes a lot of time and strength for us to fully love ourselves, but eventually we will get there. Of course, we can strive for a more preferred look, but eventually, we will have to embrace our unique selves. If we consider the entire world to be the universe, each of us may represent a different star, galaxy, or planet. Undoubtedly, we're all going to be different, but it is these special differences that make this radiant, shining universe. So, just be confident. Thank you.